Hi, welcome to a video tutorial on how to insert a PDF into a Google Slideshow for the students to work on it. It's been one of the biggest questions I've been getting. What do I do with the PDF if I want students to be able to type on it? And I think the best way or great way is to use Google Slides. Um, you're going to create a new slide presentation and then you want to open the PDF that you want to insert. So I have my PDF open here and it's a second grade biography project. Now I want to put this into 75% so that it gives me the full screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this. So on a Mac, to screenshot, you're going to use Command, Shift, and the number four. And then you click and drag till you get the entire image that you want and it'll screenshot and automatically save it to your desktop. So now I can actually close this. I don't need this anymore. And I can go back to my slides. Now within my slides, I need to delete what's on the slide and then I need to change the format so I'm going to go to file page setup and a traditional piece of paper I'm going to make this custom is eight and a half by eleven now if you have like a, a horizontal worksheet you're going to want to make that eleven by eight and a half I'm going to click apply and you can see it's going to turn it in a traditional piece of paper now all I'm going to do is click on background and I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to go to choose image. And when I go to choose image, I'm going to browse to go to my desktop. And then you'll see there's my screenshot right there. So I'm going to open that. It's going to put it directly into my Google slide. And once you have the background, the kids can't change the background. So I'm going to click done. And now you have two choices. You, have, you can have the students create their own text box and you could give them directions on how to make a text box or you can make the text box and give them directives like type here and you can make another one. So now I'm going to make another text box. So it just depends on your age group and what you think they're capable of but now you have these PDFs. You can screenshot them. You don't even need to scan them. And they go right into a Google slide. You share this, make a copy for each student, and they can type right on top of all those beautiful PDFs you've bought. You can even use um, Teachers Pay Teachers. Instead of making copies of them, you can send them this way too. So I hope that helps. And please never hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions. Have a great day.